It's a 1952 Jaguar C-Type. Uh, it was delivered in August 52 to a man called Bill Holt. And interesting enough, he t uh, took it straight away down to Goodwood and it did its first meet race meeting uh, at Goodwood um, later that month. I acquired it in 1989, so it's had 25 years with me. Uh, it's an old family friend and obviously a quarter of a century. Uh, it's quite, it's a great car to have, a great road car, great race car, and I've enjoyed a lot of racing at Goodwood over the years. So I'm surprised I fit it so well in the C-Type actually. It's my, like my problem being six foot three, but um, it's a spectacular car. I got my racing license at Goodwood last year, so I know that I know that, that track quite well. Not that I'll be racing, I'll leave that to Ben this time. And um, Henry Paul, I call him the godfather of, of, of Taylor, the godfather of Savile Row. Um, you don't, you, you dream, if you know about suits and turning, you dream about having your first Henry Paul suit. Ben is actually wearing a uh, Lear brand dance for George Harrison's, another great firm. Um, they actually uh, celebrated 150 years last year. Uh, 14 ounce tweed, uh, a little bit more heavier, more robust, uh, but ultimately that was very much the sort of, you know, the driving tweed of the day. The history of the suit is that my father raised it good within the 60s, and in those days you had to have a jacket and tie on before you could have a drink with the current Earl's grandfather, Bob Freddie March. Um, bear in mind that there was no Nomex and everybody was racing in their blue cotton Dunlop overalls. My father thought he could cut down the time between racing and recreation by having a three-piece suit made. He then was dipped in a kind of fireproof chemical, uh, so it was really the first fireproof suit. But it meant at Goodwood, you get straight out of the car and go straight to the bar and have a drink. We've got David who's wearing actually a lovely Worcester All Sport. It's a classic 12 ounce Worcester tweed made from Yorkshire. It's new off the, off the actual looms itself, um, long awaited for the new range, about 15 years. And we've got the first bolt, um, which just literally arrived to us about four weeks ago. So um, that's coming out just uh, for the same weekend as the 72 weekend. The 72nd meeting should be really firm, it's obviously for, for the members um, and it should be for the true enthusiasts really. You, you hear all the stories from them and, and the racing and uh, it, should be, it should be really good fun to be part of the team and, and obviously dressed in Henry Paul as well, it's, it's rather special. Planning the event we decided that uh, we needed some decent people on the uh, pit wall so you know, Dave is a tall chap. Um, reasonably striking, so I was asking Simon earlier whether he'd been practicing uh, throwing wellies. Uh, I think uh, we'll have a little bit of practice. Tug of war might be okay, that's what's on the bag, and egg and spoon we'll have to see, I haven't, I haven't done that for <laughs> a good probably 20 years actually, think about that, but, um, and welly throwing, that's a new one, we'll have to see how that one goes. Probably a bit of cheating in there, a couple of rocks in the end or something, I'd, I'd, yeah, I'm sort of one of those, well, however I need to win, I'll do it. So.